Hey, I am so excited to be here with passionate Marquita and YWCA. Take it away, girl. Awesome. This is our domestic violence shelter. We are a 24-hour, 365 day a week domestic violence shelter serving anyone, which means men with children, women with children, or either singles, and also the LGBT community who are fleeing domestic violence. When they flee, they generally only have the clothes on their backs. So you mentioned about just domestic violence. That's your why, if you will. That's, that's our why. You, you want to just be able to stop it, eradicate it. I'm a prayer warrior. So that's one of the prayers that the prayer team and I actually pray about is one day being able to eradicate the domestic violence. And I, and I say one survivor victim at a time. How do they even get to, you know, do they call you all? Is there, is there a hotline number? There is. We actually have a hotline number. And with that hotline number, we are probably the most unique in the, in the Memphis Shelby County area for domestic violence because they can self-identify okay. and don't necessarily have to have a police report, nor, really? that, nor do they have to get an order of protection. This is how our rooms are actually set up. We have various size rooms. We have like one across the hall that is like a, a, for a single and a baby. And so even here, we can hold one, two, we can four, and then we have an adjacent bed room that is adjoined because we have some families that may have nine or ten children. Wow. And they have a full-size bathroom Okay. that they, that they actually, the family shares. <clears throat> and this is their living space. We actually opened the first domestic violence shelter in, our, in the city of Memphis. And over the years, we have grown and just become a pillar of our community for domestic violence shelter and services for our clients. So your whole thing is, how do I holistically- Holistically, yes. Come support this family, get them everything that they need in order yes, to get yes. back to a safe, safe. environment. This is our educational room. Uh, How are you doing, room. Randall Phillips. We help our clients with resume writing, filling out applications, Excel classes, whatever that they may be in need of to enhance their skills. Appreciate what you do. And so next we have is our laundry room. We don't charge our clients for any services, not even to wash. So we try to make it feel as much as home being away from home. As a pastor who have preached funerals of domestic violent uh, abuse, look, you don't have to stay. You do And uh, so oftentimes as a church and as the faith community, we have made the mistake of telling people to stay in abusive situation. There is help, there is hope for you, there is a way out. So many go back, and sometimes they go back up to seven times. And hopefully we pray that that's not fatal. And so we really talk about safety planning here. We always ask people, what's wrong with you? That's wrong. What happened to you? Mm. And when we begin to ask Maybe people, that's something we happened? can start doing. Yes. Even so that we can identify and hopefully prevent. Yes. And deliver people even before they go down a certain pathway. Yes. So from little to much, much. Every little makes a difference. It does, because it costs us right around $1,900 a day per, mm. per person to actually run a domestic violence shelter. So it's very expensive, but we all know with Memphis being in the top 10 as far as fatalities and one in the top five for domestic violence in our nation, wow. our services, top five? yes, our services are very necessary. And we have not fell below the top five in about the last six or seven years. We appreciate the work you've done and that you are doing in the community right now. We're grateful to be able to partner. We thank you, Pastor Orr and Brown Baptist, for being a partner of the YWCA Greater Memphis. <laughs>